Hello guys, welcome to the second episode of That's Awesome Podcast. I'm Binola. And I'm Irene. And today we're going to be talking more about the conference. It's a whole student-run event, right? Yeah. And so we have two special guests, two conference managers. And they're here to talk more in detail about what happened and how it was planned. So um, let's welcome Morgan and Danielle. Yay! Hey, have a seat. How are you guys? Good. How are you? We're good. Okay, I think it's after Thanksgiving break, yeah. so yeah. it's. It's not fun that school is back, but it's colder. Yeah, yeah it's weeks. getting colder. Yeah. We're getting close. Though. Yeah, okay. we're getting close. So was great. it was good. Lots yeah. of family time, which was yeah. fun. Yeah, so yes. it was nice to just have a little bit of time to myself to sure, yeah. Yeah. regroup. Yeah. Need a lot of relaxing. That's good. So the conference, we heard that it was a very successful event. It's very. Is it like a lot of people attended? Right? Yeah, mm-hmm. I think we had over 100 people. Yeah, which is more than they've ever had in the past, yeah, which was I really cool. Okay. Yeah. Okay. Mm-hmm. That's cool. So you guys are both seniors, yep. is that yes. correct, yep. in event management? Yes. yes. Yeah. What else do you guys do? Do you guys do minors? Do you guys have, like, student like certain mm-hmm. orgs you guys are in and yeah. whatnot? So I'm a senior in event management and public relations, um, double major, but event's my first major, mm-hmm. uh, so I focus on that a lot. Um, as for student organizations, I'm also in Alpha Chi Omega Sorority, which I've held a lot of leadership roles there with event planning and um, just planning stuff for different stuff for our exec board. And then I'm also a part of Cairo Student Ministry, which I go to every week and volunteer there. So, yeah. Nice. Yeah, I'm also a senior in event management. I have a minor in hospitality. Um, I am a part of Delight Ministries, and then I also go to Kairos as well. Mm-hmm. So, yeah, okay. that's nice. What? Um, what are your, like, future goals, career goals? Like, after graduation, mm-hmm. what's your goal? Go ahead. Um, I'm still kind of trying to figure out which direction I want to go mm-hmm. in within events mm-hmm. okay. because it's such a wide-ranging industry. Yeah. I'm not sure if I want to go into, like, special events like weddings or sporting events or... Yeah. There's just okay. a lot of opportunities. There is, yeah. 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 Which is fun. You can also bounce between the two. Yeah. So, yeah. 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 Yeah, so I'll graduate in May, and I don't have a job lined up yet, but I'm hoping to go into some sort of conference management, okay. honestly, or okay. um, a business corporate side of event management. Oh, that's cool. um, yeah. yeah, that's so cool. Um, I guess, like, how did the conference, like, how did this class, because this class started in the spring, right? Yeah, so we had event 485 yeah. in the spring, which was event <laughs> production, where we each got into groups and planned a whole um, proposal for a conference of anything we wanted to do. We yeah. could just make it up however we wanted. And then in this this past fall, we did event 486, um, where we chose a proposal and then went ahead with that one. Okay. Um, so two different classes, but they coincide completely. Mm-hmm. So. Awesome. Mm-hmm. Yep. All right. Um, did you choose, like, the topic of, like, the conference in 485? No. Or 486? Nope. So kind of what we did in 485 was we did a lot of interviews with people from um, the community and just kind of Mm -hmm. saw what they were interested in, um, what they felt like they were missing in their education or just different topics they wanted to know more about. Um, And so then people kind of involved those with their proposal. Um, But then from there, it was kind of up to each group to see how they Mm -hmm. wanted to incorporate that into their proposal. Um, And then for our class this semester... We got to decide which one we thought was the best fitting. Okay. okay. That's, nice. That's nice. That's so cool. Yeah, so, so through those interviews, we saw that a lot of students had um, issues with, like, managing their finances or managing mm-hmm. uh, their relationships or mm-hmm. what were some of the other ones? Academics. Um, nutrition. Yeah, just things um, they worried about that we could yeah. maybe help. And so we tried to uh, put all those into our conference. Okay. Mm-hmm. okay so good. how did you guys, like come about it like what were do you guys put in your input as well like stuff you guys were struggling with stuff you guys had wanted help with or was it just solely based on like whatever you guys found from the outside or how did it how do you guys go about that it was mostly based on what we found but we also like had some input Mm -hmm. too like we could see 
like, oh, we also struggle with this within our group, so let's maybe focus more on that specific thing, um, kind of to tailor it to yeah. our own Narrow ideas. it down, mm-hmm. yeah. A little bit. Okay. Well, that's cool. Um, how did it, I think I'm jumping ahead, but how did, like, this experience in the conference helped you um, for your future? Like, because you said you wanted to be mm-hmm. a conference manager or, and maybe, like, for you, Morgan, like, how it like showed you like what the conference planning mm-hmm. is like like how did it help a lot it was one of those yeah. yeah it was a a lot of fun because we literally saw it from the beginning and could yeah. do anything we wanted yeah. and then we actually executed it and got to promote it and bring real people in um and have real speakers and it was just all very real which is unlike anything else you can do in any classes that we take like, yeah, you um, plan events, but this one actually happened, and it was a big event. It yeah. wasn't just yeah. a small little event. So it was a lot of help, and I learned a lot um, just with working with people and being able to just lead and take over my own little area, um, I'm mm-hmm. sure as well with you. But even, yeah, just not in conferences, but just event planning in general. Yeah, it was. this was the first class that I've had where we've actually, like, planned it, like, every little mm-hmm. step, and then actually have been able to hold the event and see it from beginning to end Um, and that was really helpful for me to like understand the event process Mm -hmm. and it was really helpful to have our professor Jamie like walk us through the whole thing because like if we didn't know what we were doing or needed help with something Mm -hmm. like she was there to help us um, Mm -hmm. and she's very experienced in the way yeah Mm -hmm. wait okay so you are the PR manager I was an operations manager. Oh, operations yeah. manager, yeah. sorry. And, and then, then you're I, PR yeah. manager. PR and marketing. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. Um, so tell us a little bit more about, like, your roles. Yeah. What you guys do and how do you yeah. guys, like, before the event, during the yeah. event? What do you guys have? Yeah, so there were five teams, right? I or think four. So. Yeah, so um, we were just, I was on PR and marketing, and there was four other, or three other um, students with me in my group. So we all kind of split up um, what we did. So what I was mostly in charge of was uh, running the Instagram and then creating the graphics for the Instagram and for everything across the board. Um, And this conference that we chose was actually the one that I proposed in 485, my group did. Um, So the branding was already created by me, so I just went along with that, kind of developed it, changed it, tweaked it, and then made it um, so that I could put it across all platforms. So that was what I did in my committee's role. Mm -hmm. Yeah, kind of like her, we had three other people in my group um, but I mainly focused on planning like pop up events before our actual conference okay. to kind of promote it and get people mm-hmm. to register. Um, and then I also mainly worked on the food and beverage, um, and a little bit of fundraising too. Yeah. So did you guys like pick what you like, did you pick like you were in the operations side and you were in the PR side? Did you actually pick that? Um, yeah, we kind of got to preference which one we wanted because the other ones are logistics, entertainment, and education. And then registration. registration. Okay. So we kind of got to preference what we'd be most interested in. And then I ultimately ended up on PR and marketing just through Jamie picking and making sure that each team had equal amounts. But okay. yep. yeah. Yep. So we were able to preference, but not necessarily. Oh, okay. 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 Yeah. okay. Gotcha. Yeah. Makes sense. On a scale of one to 10, how hectic was it planning the vet? <laughs> so silly, but no, I'm yeah. sure. Um, there were a few days. Mm-hmm. It kind of changed for each committee and kind of what we were working yeah. on that week. Um, but some weeks it was just kind of like not hectic at all. Yeah. Like everything's okay. just going around along nice. really well. Other the days burning. it's just flames just burning, oh, yeah. everyone shouting yeah. each other. <laughs> okay. There yeah. were days and that was all I did, like yeah. during my other classes. Yeah. <laughs> I just yeah, worked on the conference. It was. Yeah just a lot beforehand yeah. and then like you said other weeks it was just fine it depended on your committee and what um like you were really busy beforehand getting the mm-hmm. sponsors and planning the events and I was as well just like promoting um but then education and entertainment they were busy planning but then on the day of they were busier than I was yeah. so I didn't have okay. much to do the day of besides you know post on Instagram or whatever but um it there were some crazy crazy days <laughs> yeah. what but it's you want to go oh no but like you said, you guys said how hectic it was, mm-hmm. and you yeah. had to work during other classes as well. But like, at the end of the day, how rewarding was it? Like mm-hmm. to see like what you guys started off from like nothing, like on a piece of paper, just an idea. 
it's there in front of you so many people out there so many people like getting something out of it how does that feel yeah it was really cool um just seeing people walk in and actually come into the event was probably one of my favorite parts um because you realize like these are going to be real people experiencing all the work that we um put into this event uh, so yeah it was very very rewarding and now i'll talk about that experience for a long time um yeah. just getting to you know grow throughout it was really fun yeah i totally agree it was helpful for like not only my education but kind of for my career as a whole like this is mm-hmm. stuff i'll be using yeah. for the rest of my career so it was it was really helpful yeah mm-hmm. a lot of fun was there like any other event classes or awesome or hospitality classes that helped you um or maybe because PR classes that helped you, like, do the event. Yeah. Is there? Um, I can't pinpoint an exact class, but, like, other internships that I've done in the past oh. have definitely yeah. come into play. So, but, but there are a few other classes, especially, like, the 485 one where we learned, mm-hmm. like, the basics of conference management. Right. And proposals. Um, and yeah. yeah. And that process really tied in with this side of it, too. So. Right. Yeah. yeah, there was definitely little things throughout the whole class that I, like, realized I had learned in prior classes. Mm-hmm. Like you said, I can't really pinpoint one exactly, but um, also on my public relations side, since that's my second major, it was very helpful with um, my committee, just because I learned how to communicate effectively with people um, on the creative side as well. I learned a lot of graphical graphic stuff on that side of my major, so that was very helpful to combine the two, and it was a lot of fun. Yeah, I bet, because they there's like a lot of skills you can get from like that conference. Right. So it's only one night, right? Mm-hmm. It's a one night conference. Yep. Yeah. So you guys had like so you were operations, PR. Mm-hmm. Were there instances where like two committees work with each other to or like several committees work with each other for like one for like one small task oh, yeah. during the mm-hmm. and how is that like seeing what others were doing and trying to experience that that as well? Because I'm pretty sure you know exactly, like, word by word what you guys did, but was it fun to see what other people were doing as well and to experience that thing as a whole yeah. as well? There was a lot of overlap in our work, um, and we met in class and had, like, our meetings um, every week that where we got to see what other people were doing. But even on the day of, there were things that were happening that I had no idea that were planned because it was just the other committee's job but it was so cool to see that all come together because we all knew what our goal was um so we all worked together to do that um but there was also multiple tasks that um I worked on other people with especially being PR because I would get all the information from those other committees and then put it into something that can be promoted to the public so that we could promote the thing so like every all the information that I put out was everything from other committees so I had to work a lot with other committees to create those graphics but mm-hmm. yeah I didn't have to work with other committees as much but mm-hmm. it was definitely came into play with like finding volunteers um and like training the volunteers for the day of and kind of teaching them what to do that was kind of a main one for our mm-hmm. section but also um operations dealt with the budget yeah. um and so when like entertainment education needed something um they had to come to us and say okay. hey we need yeah. we need to buy this um so it was a lot of overlap yeah but that made it fun you got to see what everyone was doing but also have a focus if say you had to choose a different committee not the one you guys were like you guys were in what would it be and like why why do you think that would be like fun to do or like Mm -hmm. what is the reason behind that if it was a different committee, yeah. you guys had to choose. I would probably mm-hmm. choose education and entertainment because they had a very creative role. Um, they got to decorate the entire conference. And then they also um, picked our speakers and met and tried to find okay. them um, and organize all of that. So I think that role would be really fun because I do like the creative side of things. Um, so putting that into a different, you know, segue, I guess, um, I think would be fun. But yeah, I think same with me. That would be a really fun one to get to be a part of because it's such, it's so much of like the outward appearance of mm-hmm. the conference. Like it's what people are going to see, what people are going to hear, all of that sort of thing. Yeah. But I think it would also be fun to be in PR and marketing yeah. with the creative aspects too and making graphics yeah. and um, getting the information out there. Yeah, because your role is very much behind the scenes with yeah. operations mm-hmm. and education and entertainment. They are the forefront. That's what you saw when you walked in. Yeah. 
yep. was what they did. So. Right. So during the whole organization part of it, mm-hmm. how long was it? Like, I want to say four months, maybe three months. Or? Yeah. So we did the proposals in the spring, but once mm-hmm. we actually knew which um, proposal we were going with, it wasn't till August in okay. the fall. Mm-hmm. Um, so then the planning for the more nitty gritty planning and making sure things are realistic started in August. Um, so it was just running from there. We had to plan really quick. And then um, the conference was in October. Uh, the end of October I was so. going to say, it was, supp- yeah. it's, it's going to, it's turnaround. like, yeah, yeah. It that's like when yeah. the hectic days are like starting, yeah. I bet. Cause like yeah. right. it's from August and then it's October, right? Yeah. Mm-hmm. Oh goodness. Yeah. Yeah. Then yeah. you started fundraising that means on uh, like during that time period mm-hmm. as well, right? Yeah. Wow. Yeah. Wow. Someone had probably eight, eight to 10 weeks. Yeah. Um, to get everything completely planned Ooh, and implemented. And yeah. Yeah. And it's a Tuesday, Thursday class. So we only met twice a week too. So it was a lot of working with your committee outside of class too. Like I was texting my committee every single day. Oh, yeah. Just about oh, yeah. random yeah. stuff. So, cause I'd post on the Instagram every day type of thing, but yeah. Wow. Yeah. Okay. But now <laughs> sure. we're kind of slowed down yeah. obviously at the end yeah. of the semester. Yeah. Um, and we did a lot of reflecting on it. Um, and we're creating just a final report and everything. So. Yeah. The week before, like, you got seven days. What was going through you guys' yeah. mind? <laughs> what, say, yeah, like, well, how was, did you feel? Like, what I were you was thinking? Say, it was, I bet. Yeah. Was it, like, that hectic? The week before. Yeah. It was mm-hmm. just trying to make sure everything was going to go together. Yeah. Like, yeah. I feel like seven days before, I was like, how is this actually going to happen? Is this, yeah. I, I couldn't yeah. imagine it actually coming to fruition? Yeah. Mm-hmm. Or, like, how because all of the committees were working on stuff different stuff so I was like how is this all just going to happen then we had the op- or operations meeting or whatever beforehand and we just kind of literally walked through the whole day and that made it a lot better but yeah it was pretty crazy that yeah. last week I think yeah it was a lot of like final small details that mm-hmm. maybe we hadn't thought of quite yet yeah. yeah and we're like oh who's going to go pick up this or like have we bought this yet like yeah tons of little things that you don't really think of right. when you're yeah. just planning the grand scheme yeah. of things. Yeah. Like just the, the small details. The nitty yeah. gritty. Yeah. Yeah. Like who's going to tell yeah. the volunteers where to go yeah. and who's oh, going to yeah. get the popcorn ready and who's going to do this and that. It was, yeah. But from the outside looking in, that's amazing. The conference was amazing. <laughs> I, I didn't went, but I saw yeah. everything through like social media. Oh, you yeah. did amazing social media coverage. <laughs> like yeah. I feel like Thanks. I was there. Like everything went super smoothly, I bet. Yeah, I, I'm. I really want to take the class. You honestly, yeah. yeah. It was very rewarding. To yeah. See it all come yeah. together. Mm-hmm. Absolutely. What was your like favorite part during the event itself? Like, except for like I know like, the best part is seeing what it you actually, plan actually happen. Yeah. Other than that, like, what what's like the one thing you like most about the whole event itself? Um, I think my favorite thing for the day of was when I was just kind of wandering around in between sessions. Um, and like a session would get over and their friends like meet up and mm-hmm. I would just hear them saying like, oh, you should go to the nutrition session. Like that one was so good. Or like mm-hmm. them enjoying what they were learning and like saying, oh, you need to go to that one or just mm-hmm. having a good time and kind of seeing like our work did pay off and people are enjoying yeah. it. Yeah. Like in the finance, mine's the same, but in the finance one, um, I remember walking in after the session completed and one of the students had walked up to the leader and was like just in awe of everything he had taught them and she was asking all these questions and it was really cool to see like these are real problems that people are having or real situations and then these speakers are helping them and they were very excited about it so yeah and seeing everyone in between the sessions like coming out and suggesting that one to their friends or running to the next one so that they could get there and yeah Mm -hmm. it's really fun yeah Yeah. um i guess one word to describe the conference Mm-hmm. <laughs> one word. Yeah, that's one a good word. one. That's a good one. I hope like it's not too hard. Yeah. Um. I mean, educational. Mm-hmm. Sounds I think good. that's. Sad. I think literally everything in it was a learning experience. Yeah. 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 Um. Yeah. And yeah. I think I would say empowering, which oh, is kind yeah. of along the same lines, yeah. just like. Even for us as conference managers, like being empowered that we can do things like this. And it's not just, um, you know, professionals that are in this situation, but also empowering for the attendees, like to 
get to grow and we also had like a goal setting wall and they got to you know write down those things so it was very empowering overall that's great it's always not just like you said educational but it's not just learning about like your craft or anything like mm -hmm. it's like learning about people like how to deal with people how to work according to another person's schedule another person's time mm -hmm. stuff like that that's yeah. That's stuff you can't learn from a book or right. by reading something, right? You got to actually be there, get your hands dirty and do the work itself. Mm -hmm. What would you say was the like best memory you would take from that experience you guys had as a group or like as individual mm -hmm. itself, like for your future, for your self itself to grow? Mm -hmm. What's the best memory or experience you guys would take forward from that? Um, I think like the most fun memory I have was the day of the event. Um, my committee and I went and like picked up our food and beverage items. So um, we had two ginormous bags of popcorn. Mm -hmm. Like they were just astronomically big. Mm -hmm. um, and so we had to go pick those up. And that was an, it's an interesting experience. Like just picking up those things. And we had a fun time like, getting them all in their cups and ready to go. And yeah. Yeah. All the background stuff. Um, yeah. Yeah. Um, I would say one an experience that I will definitely take with me is, is running like the social media side of things. I never really thought I would enjoy that, um, but I had fun and I heard a lot of good feedback on that. Um, and then just being able to share uh, that with people and then seeing people afterwards post pictures from the conference and tag us was really cool. Um, just in general, people sharing that they were there was mm -hmm. fun. Jumping back to like my previous like question, so do you really, after like all this, after like the conference, how hectic it was, how fun it was, like everything, all of the above, would you, would you want this to be your line of work, like as a conference manager? I think, go ahead. Um, I think there are some aspects of it mm -hmm. um, that I'm like, oh my gosh, I cannot wait to do this. Like, yeah. But there are other parts that are like the super anxiety provoking little things mm -hmm. like you're waiting to hear back from other people or yeah. like you're just yeah. Yeah. a lot of waiting mm -hmm. that sure. I'm just like kind of like impatient on. And that's mm -hmm. I'm like, oh, oh, man. But yeah. <laughs> but otherwise, I think it's really exciting and kind of really drives home like this is what I want to do. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Nice. A lot of the parts can fit into mm -hmm. any other job, too. So uh, like the fun parts. But yeah. Yeah, I think conference management could be something I want to go into. I definitely like the side of um, more like special events, I guess, rather than having um, smaller events frequently like a sports mm -hmm. game or something. Um, but having that one big event that you plan for and then it happens. Um, but yeah, I any event management line of work I would love. I'm yeah. very passionate about. So. That's nice. Yeah. That's always nice. Always be yeah. passionate yeah. about something. Yeah. 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 Okay. Last thing of the day. If someone's watching who's interested in getting in with the conference, getting in with those classes, doing something similar to what you guys did, how would you promote it? How would what would you say to that person? What would you what's your main selling point about the conference and the classes you guys did? I think the main selling point that I would say is like this class brings everything that you've learned in the event program into it like one one event yeah. and it kind of just all ties together and you actually get to plan it and see it happen and you don't get that in any other class yeah mm -hmm. I would say you definitely get to do what you want with it which is a big big selling point I think um we got to just do whatever we wanted within you know our budget and realm but um being able to see that fruition from the beginning to end is something you don't get in any other experience and just having that experience to talk about in the future and having those job interviews and you know being able to talk about what you learned throughout it is some a huge advantage um when you're looking for your first job too all right well that's yeah that's awesome guys unfortunately that's going to be the end of the this episode it was Great nice. having, yeah, it was yeah, very, very nice having you guys. Great yeah, talking about the conference. Because, yeah. like, I'm, in an, I'm like, in a vet, and I really want to join the class now. Because, yeah, like, should. knowing everything, that's so fun. fun. Yeah. Pretty sure uh, people who are listening in also want yeah. to join the class now, yeah. get involved. <laughs> Looking forward to the class. And, yeah, guys, so 
this is the second episode. Let us know what you think. If you want someone, if you want us to talk about something, let us know. Nyreen. So Morgan and Danielle, we're doing this thing every time we have a guest. So you guys will end it. All you have to say to the camera is, and that's awesome. All right, ready? You guys ready? Yep. Three, two, one. <laughs> and, and that's, that's awesome. awesome. <laughs>